give you a demo review of my Fender American Telecaster um, loaded with Joe Barden and Danny Gatton pickups. Um, I've replaced the bridge with the Joe Barden three saddle brass bridge and the, the neck have Klutzen um, vintage style tuners. Um, again, these are a little bit different than the Dom Air pickups that I've had in my Paisley. Um, they're humbucking, they use a, a double rail design and they retain a little bit more of the high end um, sound associated with the Telecaster, but it does it um, being noiseless, so it's a different quality compared to a lot of the um, noiseless pickups out there because not often can you get a lot of the um, rich kind of tw Telecaster sound and be noiseless. So, this is the neck pickup with the, the Barden set. position between the two. And the bridge position. So definitely kind of retains a lot of the um, the old kind of twangy sound of a Telecaster. Um, like I said, the set was designed for Danny Gatton, and he had a lot of a high end kind of a twang sound associated with his tone. And um, I do know Bruce Springsteen has one of these, at least in the bridge. I don't know if he has a full set, but um, it does a very cool kind of old twangy sound. And actually, with a vibrato, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> So it definitely kind of has a, um, a retained sort of a vintage kind of sound with everything. Don't typically use vibrato, but I know uh, Springsteen does. So. so this is the neck pickup. I'm using a Barber LTD Overdrive um, that gives it just kind of a light overdriven sound. So this is the neck pickup. And in the bridge position. cool thing about these is that they're very clear sounding. Everything comes through, which I guess could be a good or a bad thing, um, depending on how you're playing, but it does pick up every nuance of your sound and how you're playing. Um, they sound great with a little bit of overdrive between them. I'm not a big fan of them with a lot of heavy gain, but they can handle heavy gain if that's what you chose to do um, because of their humbucking design. So I think my favorite pickup, um, one of my favorite neck pickups is definitely the Joe Barton neck pickup. It has a, a full body kind of warm sound. And the, uh, the bridge definitely kind of keeps sort of the twang while keeping it all noisy. So it definitely has a vintage sound um, with a little bit of a modern twist being that it's noiseless and um, handles high gain. So um, I enjoy the set. I've never tried a set before, and I actually did it as a, um, uh, you know, going on reviews. Either people love them or they hate them. Um, I think they do a good job of getting um, 
a vintage kind of twang out of your pickups and keeping it all noiseless. But some people think they're too, um, I guess, modern sounding, and then some people say that they're too high end sounding. And I guess it's all in how you have it dialed in. I've never really had a problem with this set at all, and I think it's a great pickup that's used um, in, in a lot of recordings. Um, I put this guitar together to kind of resemble Kyle Cook of Matchbox 20's um, Telecaster. And uh, he uses Barton's, and I've always enjoyed the, the sound that he got out of his Telecaster. So it does a great, clean-sounding um, Telecaster tone, and um, it does very well with some overdrive behind it. So I, I, I like the set, and I think it's a good choice um, if you're on the line between a noiseless set. So um, to put them between the two, a lot of people do put these um, against the Don Mayer's. Um, this retains a lot of the high-end twang not to the point where it's ice picky but it does twang a little bit more um but uh that's because i have an overwhelmed bridge and my dom mares and they're both very good pickups for the price i don't think you can go wrong with either um these are are humbucking mares are not but they're not noise at all they're they're wax potted to prevent a lot of the noise so either one's a good choice if you're looking to keep more of a twang kind of sound um and then and humbucking thing that handles a lot of high gain. Uh, I would go with the Bardens as far as a purely vintage kind of sound um, that you can kind of shape to be your own. I would go with the Don Mayer set. But really, either set could go, you know, shape anything. And I think they're a good pick either way.